All right, hello everyone, Adrenaluke here, and welcome all to episode five of ACC Dirty Driving, the series where I expose dirty drivers. I have eight clowns to expose today, and I'm going to rank them from eighth place being the least dirty of the bunch to first place being the most dirty. That means the longer you watch this video, it's going to progressively become more of a circus. That's enough talking for now. Let's go ahead and kick things off with eighth place. It's going to go to the number 78 car, Another black Lamborghini, not to be confused with me. Obviously, that's not me driving when you're going to see what he's going to do up here. And you're going to see why he takes the eighth place spot today. So we're at Monza. And I guarantee you, if you're in a public lobby, there's going to be a big crash at turn number one. It happens every single time in public lobbies at Monza. Watch this. Comes in way too hot, contact with the McLaren, then he blocks off the way from me. I'm to the left of him, so I took the escape route there. Now, I'm not sure why he's not following what I did. He had all four wheels on the escape route, but instead he cuts across the grass and makes a dangerous rejoin where there's a lot of active traffic. Thankfully, he did not create any additional contact with that dangerous rejoin, but not too long after that, we're going to see another occurrence with the same number 78 car, and it's gonna be later on at Parabolica. Now, uh, let me cycle back to the number 78 car again, and he's gonna be hitting this McLaren. So it's gonna be right there. Now, let me go back a little bit, change the camera view. Okay. So it looks like, if I slow the footage down here, we're at Parabolica, last turn of the race. I'm not sure why he's going super wide there. It almost looks like he's deliberately turning into him. What do you guys think? Do you think that was a deliberate hit or not? Put down in the comment section your thoughts below. Moving on to the seventh place spot. We are at Kota now. I'm to the left of him. Watch his BMW. I'm already to the left of him. He turns on me once. Now he's way off the track. Is he going to have a safe rejoin? Not so much as he turns right into the corner of my car and I go off track. Let's watch that one more time, but let's put it in slow motion. So here we go. He should definitely see my car because I'm in front of him there before he breaks a little bit late, but he breaks a pretty much on time. Uh, but he turns right into my car here. I'm, I'm on the apex already. He acts like I'm not even there. There is no reason to have that contact there. It should have been easily avoidable. There's so much room for him on the right there. And now when he's way off the track, I I'm still to the left of him this whole time. He should see it on his radar. And he's just going to turn right in my car and he should definitely see me right here why can he not just slow down pull up behind me but no he turns into my car pushes up my corner and then i am spinning and hitting the barrier to the right of him there i i really don't know what on earth happened here i mean this should have been avoidable on both occurrences it should have been extremely avoidable what happened on the first contact because look at how much room he has here there's so much room to go around me why on earth would you act like I'm not there and still just try to take the apex when I'm already there? So that should have been very avoidable. And then the second contact that happens right up here should also be very avoidable. This is just, there's no excuse for this. Very, very avoidable. Now moving on to the sixth place spot. Taking the sixth place spot is going to go to this guy and the black, red, and white Porsche Cup car that we're focused on right here. Now I have it slowed way down, as slow as we can make it because you got to watch very carefully here. Now look how they're going three wide. It is a straight road, though, so they shouldn't have a problem going three wide here. However, the Porsche is going to be turning to the right, to the right, to the right, until there's contact with that Lamborghini to the right of him. And boom! First contact causes Lamborghini to hit another Porsche to the right, which he then ricochets right back towards the original Porsche that caused the contact to begin with. And then both of them are sliding onto the grass here. We can speed it a little bit up now. It, it, it's not, it shouldn't be too big of an issue to just keep going in a straight line. <laughs> but, but that's just the beginning of this. That's just the beginning. We've only had three cars involved so far. It gets way, way worse. So he's cutting across the grass here. Rejoin seems kind of okay-ish until he gets up here. Now, watch how slowly, watch how slowly he's going there. Now, the Ferrari behind him, I'm going to slow it down again. Now, watch this. The Porsche is going so slow up there, and this Ferrari needs to react because the Porsche is going like not even a quarter of the speed he should be, and he's turning in the way. So then the Ferrari has to react, turns into the Audi, hits the Porsche, 
and then there's three cars involved there. Now, I'm going to go back and I'm going to show you guys how that looked like in full speed. So let's go back a little bit from the Ferrari's perspective. We're going to put it in normal speed and watch this. Look at how slow the Porsche is going up there. And he turns in the way of the Ferrari. Look at this. Cuts in his way. So the Ferrari had to react. And this just results in a disaster. So the Ferrari turns into the Audi right here. Now this is when things get just so out of control. So we got three more cars involved here. And then if we go back, there's another... No, that's the same Porsche actually. But there's just more contact involved. Now, Audi's trying to make his way. Looks like... I think he makes it through. But then there's more... The Audi just shoves him right back in. Oh, let's look at that. Okay, so if we go back here... Looks like the Audi gets angry at the Porsche, and he pushes the Porsche right back in on the track. So watch ahead of this Aston Martin up here, and that Audi is going to be shoving him right back on. Watch the Audi, watch the Audi! He's pushing the Porsche back, and he pushes him in the way of the Aston Martin. <laughs> and then there's more contact with another uninvolved Porsche right here. Makes the Audi go on two wheels. Let's we'll see who's behind him. Black Ferrari trying to make it through here. Can he make it through? Let's see. Oh, uh, he makes it. He makes it through. But then there's a BMW back there. Let, let's see if he made it through. Let's go back. Let's see what happened with the BMW. Look at all the carnage up there. Let's see if this BMW makes it through. And... A uh, little, little bits of contact there. Two little bits of contact there. So he doesn't quite make it through. Ends up in the gravel as a result. There should be more contact. I'm, I'm pretty sure. So let's keep, let's keep going. Let's keep looking. So there's a BMW. Red McLaren. Is he gonna make it through? Looks like he made it through just fine. Aston Martin trying to make it through. Oh my goodness, looks like he makes it through, but the Ferrari gets rear-ended by another Porsche. More contact with another Audi back there. Another, a McLaren just made contact back there too. Oh my gosh. Look at all this. Holy moly. There's the Aston Martin. There's uh, another Porsche. And we know the black Ferrari makes it. That, that one makes it with a little bit of contact. Red McLaren makes it through, I think. Now the Ferrari gets rear-ended by this guy. And then this Audi ends up hitting him. And then that McLaren hits him. Oh my goodness. And then we have me as well. Let me show you how I ended up. I'm, I'm just, you know, minding my own business. And here I am. Look at all the chaos in front of me. And I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't know where to go. Hit two cars there. All of this. All of this is the result of that one Porsche that went too slow. All of this was caused by that one Porsche who thought it would be a good idea. Where is he? There, there he is. This one Porsche that thought it would be a good idea to go extremely slow and cut in the way of traffic going way faster than him. And then all of those deaths happened. I think there's what, two of us that survived all that carnage? Oh my gosh, man. Why? Why would you do that? We are in the top five now and taking the fifth place spot is this Porsche. He's on the grass trying to pull to the side of me. Turns into my car in a heavy braking zone, then smashes into the barrier. And then I'm not sure why, but this McLaren just goes flying past him there. I really don't know what that was all about, but then Look at this genius rejoin right here. Yeah, very safe rejoin. Then turns right into that Audi right there. And the gravel and another dangerous rejoin right after that to turn right into that red McLaren there. Makes him smash into the barrier again and still doesn't wait until the track is clear and has a third dangerous rejoin in a row. Now, thankfully, that third rejoin he did did not result in any additional contact. But come on, man. It's like no matter how much chaos you're causing in that short amount of time, you just keep going like no part of your brain decided, hey, I'm causing a lot of accidents. Maybe I should stop or, or wait till the track's clear. No, you just keep bashing into people left and right. Oh, my goodness. There is no doubt that that was just either extreme negligence or intentional. <sighs> Moving on to the fourth place spot. Taking the fourth place spot, this time I actually want you guys to watch me. So we're focused on my car. Now watch this. So as of right here, it looks like he's leaving the door open. 
but I get way too aggressive with a lunge here. So it looks like the inside's open. I go for it. Keep in mind this footage is slowed down. Then I realize right, when it's too late that there wasn't enough space. It was too late by that point. I had two wheels on the grass. There is some contact, so that's completely my fault. That is 100% my fault. So I end up waiting on the side of the track for a safe rejoin. Now, if I go back a little bit, I manually saved what happened when I was actually waiting. So right here, you can see me waiting for the track to be clear so I can have a safe rejoin. And then watch the BMW in the background there. He's turning his car around. And we're going to put it in normal speed. Watch this. Driving backwards now to deliberately smash into my car while I was just waiting for a safe rejoin. Why? I mean, come on, man. I mean, that accident was 100% my fault. I mean, it's not... It's not like... It's not like I intentionally hit you, though. You intentionally hit me there. And neither of our cars were really that damaged. We could have continued the race. So this is why I gave this guy the fourth place spot, because he ruined the race for both of us when he did that. When he drove backwards and smashed into my car, neither of our cars were functional then, and we had to drop out of the race, both of us. When we could have rejoined and continued on the race at least, after the contact I made with him, it wasn't, it wasn't severe enough of a hit to cause significant damage at all. What he did was, so let's watch it one more time. I'm waiting to rejoin the track. He turns around, aims for my car, and just slams into me. Moving on to the third place spot, and I'm telling you guys right now, the top three in today's episode is going to make your jaw drop. All right, here we go. Top three, guys. Are you ready for this? Now, before I show you guys the third place spot, you see this solid white line to the right of this teal BMW? You see that solid white line? Yeah, that is the track limits, and every sensible person stays to the left of that solid white line for obvious reasons. Now, this BMW that we're focused on is going to try to be some hero and try to overtake the entire grid in front of him before turn number one. You know, a, a, a public lobby classic, guys. There's always that one guy that tries to overtake everyone before the first turn of the whole race. And that always happens at Moans on public lobbies. <sighs> so, remember, a solid white line to the right of him is a track limit. Now watch what he does. Race just starts, and already he's off the track limits. Already he's trying to pass every single person. And coming up here, I'm slowing the footage down. He sees pit lane right in front of him, so... Is he going to rejoin? No, he's going to go right over pit lane now, right there. Thank God there's no one exiting the pits. And now he's still going past another solid white line. And right here, he sees that there's grass straight ahead of him. So he's like, uh-oh, there's grass straight ahead of me. i got to re-enter the track now. And look at this. He could have slowed down and re-entered behind that Ferrari, but nope. He cuts right into him. That's me ahead of him, that black Lamborghini. Look at how close he almost cuts into me. And then he makes contact with that Mercedes there. <sighs> Why? Why would you do this? And then it looks like his car or the Mercedes, it looks like both of them are going to bounce right back. Yep. And then he makes contact with another Ferrari there. All because he wanted to be a hero and try to pass the entire grid before turn number one. And now there's an Audi spinning back there. This Mercedes is still spinning. Oh, lots of chaos. That Ferrari and the McLaren are going to have to try to get past both the wrecked cars there. That is a lot of chaos to cause. All because you want to just be a hero and pass the entire grid. Please never be this guy. Please always be careful when the race just starts. Keep in mind you guys are in cold tires, cold brakes. So make sure to take it easy near the first turn, and obviously don't be like this guy and try to just cut across the track limits and just pass everyone outside the track and then cut across pit lane to try to pass everyone before turn number one. It's, it's just not worth it. This is so stupid. Taking the second place spot, there's 15 cars ahead of him, but look at this. He's passing all 15 cars on the pace lap 
without a care in the world, just flying past everyone where you're not even allowed to overtake one person. You're supposed to stay in formation. We have another idiot that just flew by there in a different Lamborghini. However, I am going to go just a few cars back here. And I'm gonna show you, okay, so he's up there ahead of us in the front, way up there, right ahead of us. Watch what he does when the race starts. Keep in mind, he just flew past 15 cars and now he's staying closely in front of the pack. He didn't just fly way up there. So the race is about to start. Now watch this, I'm gonna slow way down. I'm gonna slow way down. Now watch, watch ahead, watch him. And so it looks like the race is going to start right now. And he slams on his brakes while the people behind him slam on the gas pedal. So now, Everyone behind him is going to get involved in a massive pileup. Look at all this carnage that he caused. He clearly did this on purpose. He cut 15 people on the pace lap to then stay closely in front to slam on his brakes once we go to the green flag. And look at all this. Everyone is involved in this. Not a single person was able to make it through. Look at this. This guy clearly did this on purpose. Clearly on purpose, absolutely despicable. I don't think I've seen a single person that was able to make it through this. You even see me up there in that black Lamborghini. I, I was involved in some contact too with like at least two people. <sighs> absolutely despicable. Everyone involved in this chaos all the way back. Not a single person got to make it through. Let's get a uh, overhead view of this chaos that he caused now. And let's put it in normal speed gonna get an overhead view look at this right when the race starts he just brake checks and then all of that chaos as a result why do you even play this game I don't understand why people like this even bother to play this game like what do they get out of this go play a game where wrecking people is actually an objective there's games like that out there like why why play this then and here it is the number one spot this is the biggest clown of the whole circus. Look ahead of me. This is during qualifying, by the way, and he tried to swerve to take me out. He was going way slower than me. So again, look at this. He's almost parked up there, waiting for me to pull to the side of him. I'm about to pull to the side of him. He tries to block off the way. I tried to swerve to the left, but it caused me to slam into the barrier, and that is not all. You saw what just happened during qualifying with this guy in the McLaren. Wait till you see what happens during the race. So you just saw what he did in qualifying. Now you're gonna see what this same guy does in the race. So we just started the race and watch this. First target taken down, second target taken down. Anyone that goes near this guy, he's just gonna immediately try to crash into them. We're approaching turn number one, heavy braking zone. He's going full throttle right into a big crowd of cars. Tons of chaos caused because of that. Oh my goodness. So as you just saw from my point of view, I was able to avoid all the chaos in the first turn. But look at that, he just swerved to try to hit me again and this is during the race this time, not during qualifying. So that same guy up there, he knows that I'm the race leader at this point and he swerves to try to take me out again. And thankfully he was unsuccessful. However, later on, here he is again and he's right behind me coming into the second chicane. Now I'm gonna go to his car and I'm gonna go back five seconds I'm ahead of him. We're coming towards the second chicane. This is later on in the race. I've avoided two times where he would have caused chaos with me. Now look at this. Heavy braking zone. I fake him out. I make him think I'm going over there. Then I swerve last second because I know what he's trying to do. I knew that he was trying to ram me. I knew that he was trying to rear end me super hard. So I'm going to show you what that looked like from my point of view now. If I can put it back to my car and I'm just going to go. I was racing in this view. So look at this. He's right behind me. I had my rear view mirror on during the race. I fake him out, I go over there, and then I quickly turn the other way, and then look at that. He was clearly trying to rear-end me super hard. That's it for today's episode, guys. Absolutely filthy behavior that we saw all the way around, so I urge you guys, do not be like the people you saw in today's episode. Please keep it clean, and race fast, race clean, and I will see you all 
in the next video. Game over.